According to latest media reports, Indian Special Forces will get mixed reality glasses by 2026, and it will be initially distributed to the Armed Forces Special Operations Division, followed by Paris Special Forces and Navy's Marine Commandos. The Indian Army is also in the process of acquiring 556 augmented reality head-mounted display systems under Make 2 category for improving engagement capability of land-based air defense systems during night and bad weather conditions, and recently a project sanction order was issued to six vendors to start developing a prototype. The mixed reality glasses will be different from augmented reality, as augmented reality overlays digital information on real-world elements, while the mixed reality will bring together real-world and digital elements, and soldiers can interact and manipulate both physical and virtual items and environments using next-generation sensing and imaging technologies. The DRDO has announced that its Defense Materials and Stores Research and Development Establishment has developed a lightweight bulletproof jacket that meets the qualitative requirements of the Indian Army, and this technology will reduce the weight of the medium-sized bulletproof jacket from 10.4 kg to 9 kg. The front hard armor panel jacket was tested at the Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory, and it fully meets relevant standards. After a direct ferry from France, the fourth batch of three Rafale fighter jets have landed in India last night, that were provided mid-air refueling by aerial tankers of the United Arab Emirates. The French ambassador Emmanuel Lenin has said, that five more Rafale fighter jets will be delivered to India by the end of April, and all 36 fighter jets will be delivered by 2022. With several large orders including 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters, Hindustan Aeronautics has registered its all-time high revenue of more than 22,700 crore rupees for the financial year 2020 to 2021, and officials have said that the Indian Air Force has also paid its long outstanding dues of around 17,000 crore rupees to Hindustan Aeronautics. National Aerospace Laboratories have sought additional 100 crore rupees from the central government for the development of Sarah's Mark II aircraft, which is currently heading towards detailed engineering and design, while Hindustan Aeronautics is the manufacturing partner for the Sarah's Mark II variant. The 14-seater Sarah's Mark I has also started modifications to its cockpit layout and its cabin configuration so that it will be used as a testbed for the development of the 19-seater Sarah's Mark II aircraft. The Indian Air Force have sent out a request for information to global vendors to lease 20 basic trainer aircraft for a period of four years, as the indigenous HTT-40 trainers are expected to join service in significant numbers by 2025. The decision for leasing trainers comes at a time when the current fleet of Pilatus PC-7 basic trainers are facing serviceability issues, as the Swiss company has been banned in India on corruption allegations. Just days after the visit of US Secretary of Defense, the Russian Foreign Minister will be visiting India next week, and this trip is expected to pave the way for the pending annual India-Russia summit between Prime Minister Modi and Russian President, and will see the signing of the much-awaited contract for local production of 7.5 lakh AK-203 rifles. Oh, Mark,